what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use the Android proxy server to bypass the PS3 update notice 4.84 on your PS3 now this can be done with any Android devices tablet um, phones laptops whatever also will work with any PS3 fat slim square round whatever PS3 it will work with okay keep in mind again that you should have internet or data phone data on your devices for this to work all right so as you guys can see I am on my Android phone doesn't matter what type of Android device you have so what you want to do is just download the APK I'll leave the link in the description download it and then locate it and install it once it's done go ahead and press open go all the way down you're gonna see all these stuff right here you can read through them then go down to the bottom and then do go to app and right here you're gonna see that you have a IP address and you have you also have a port right here okay so let's head over to the PS3 and set up the PS3 first alright so go over all the way over to internet settings then you wanna go down to internet connection settings press custom wireless manually keep going add your credential and everything keep going keep going um, DNS proxy server so right here just go down and click use then you want to add the, the IP address from your cell phone so I'm just gonna go ahead and add mine okay and that's it so just go and press right on a d-pad right again press X now press circle go back out now I'm gonna go all the way up here oh let me show you my my firmware first let me go down there there's my firmware okay so I'm just gonna go back up here now on my phone I'm gonna press start the start icon and there it is you will get a notification that the ps3 proxy server is active active so on your ps3 now you want to just check you can go to um signed up and there you go guys i can now sign up and everything um let me just go ahead again and turn off the proxy server on my phone okay now it's off let's try to sign up again and as you can see we get that error let's go over to update and let's check for update and there you go we now have a error so if we turn it on again go to update again internet it's gonna say that I'm on the latest version go over to sign up and I can sign up now guys so it's as simple as that guys so guys if the video was helpful please leave a like share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video